The cyber cafe is the heart of the internet in Nairobi, Kenya's capital. Here, internet costs vary from 50 cents to 3 shillings per minute. Speeds are average, but with fiber optic undergoing testing currently in the country, a lot is expected to change. Generally, you can say that the speeds are better because right now, you know, you're getting 256, 256 or 512, 512 in and out. And previously, people were getting 100 kbps, which was a little bit slow. So there are very many things which could not be done at, the, at that time. Uh, right now, clientele have become very interested in this fiber optic, so they are coming to surf more because they know they'll get at least a good return for their money, you can say. In today's world, real time is the name of the game. Customers are looking for high-tech video streaming, quality internet television and better voice and data. And they want it fast. At the same time, e-commerce and e-learning will also be greatly enhanced as the population becomes more technologically savvy. The education sector is definitely going to benefit from this. Then the outsourcing business, I mean, uh, uh, previously they've not been very competitive due to the cost of internet uh, connectivity and international connectivity. So when they're providing services to companies in the US, in the UK and other parts of the world who have been outsourcing a lot of their uh, uh, services to other countries, uh, the Kenyan companies were not very competitive. And now we should see a growth in the BPO sector uh, now that the cost of doing, biz uh, doing business has gone down. Quality of services definitely will be one thing which we'll notice. The second thing which we already seen is there's a potential of all the 13 to 16 million mobile subscribers at present really becoming data consumers. And that's a new area where everybody seems to be focusing on. The first undersea fiber optic cable went live in five African countries simultaneously last month, marking the beginning of an era of faster and cheaper internet connections. With affordable and quality communication, you're going to see entrepreneurs really get onto it and do quite a number of interesting innovations. And uh, just as we have seen in the mobile sector, where the number of users are many, there are lots of SMS applications. We are beginning to see internet-based applications, homegrown, and we expect these to move on. The Seacom cable has been the forerunner, while Teams and Easy Cable are expected to roll out in the coming months. The project is on. Uh, Easy is going to happen. WIAC is pushing the process. Uh, the laying of the cable uh, has started. We anticipate that we'll be completing the Maputo and uh, uh, later this year, in the next uh, two months, July, August. Mombasa will be happening very soon, October. And it's, it's all on schedule. We have, have it all in our project plan. We've taken care of the piracy complications that will happen because piracy has been around for, for a bit of time. So we've planned that inside our project. And uh, we are going out there into the market. Competition within this sector promises a new wave of ICT revolution and the end user is set to benefit. Uh, previously, uh, Kenya has been connecting to the rest of the world using uh, satellite. We've been paying 5,000 US dollars, between 5,000 and 6,000 US dollars per megabit per, sec uh, per megabit per second per month. So it's come down from 5,000 to 6,000 US dollars to between 500 and 600. US dollars per month on the submarine fiber capacity. So the connectivity to the rest of the world has actually gone down drastically. Uh, as soon as we went on fiber, the speeds are much higher, the latencies are much higher, uh, and we are seeing uh, you are able to access your sites much faster. Uh, you are able to download uh, uh, larger content uh, much, much faster. The other thing is, of course, reduction of uh, speeds. Uh, reduction of the cost of internet. The providers have started uh, passing down uh, to a smaller scale. At this point, however, I wish to mention that the price reduction has not been as drastic or as, uh, as uh, high as it would have been expected, largely because the players uh, have had to incur a lot of cost to bring this technology home. And uh, they'll be trying to recoup that cost in the next uh, few weeks. However, analysts say it will be a challenge for Kenya to manage the huge broadband capacity given the shortage of skills and local content. The risks associated with a physical cable is that it can be cut. Unlike the previous system where we were getting internet through satellite, which cannot be disconnected by physical means, 
Right now, when you have to run uh, capacity through a pipe, it can be physically violated, meaning you lose uh, data. But uh, the good news is that a lot of ISPs, including Nairobi Net, have a backup system where we are going to have a hybrid of both fiber and uh, satellite uh, uh, capacity. On the other hand, the team's cable is also on the way. So we need to have, most companies need to have a redundant uh, link. So you have a hybrid system that is able to give you a backup system. Some players have a disagree on the issue of overcapacity and are quick to point out that costs will come down for the benefit of consumers in the market. Any country and any continent needs multiple cable systems, both for diversity and redundancy and also for competition to ensure prices fall. Historically, we, when we've seen one cable enter a market, prices have still remained high. So for competitive reasons, we need to have more than one cable. And for redundancy reasons, we also need to have more than one cable. Across the Atlantic, there are about six cables. Across the Pacific, there are four or five cables. So Africa needs cables, more than one cable, for diversity and redundancy to make sure that in the event of any cuts, the continent doesn't go dark. Previously, Kenya's potential was being hindered by the absence of fast internet connectivity. And this technological advance will open new avenues for various sectors of the economy, a factor that will be key in enhancing the country's goal of becoming a developed country by the year 2030.